Hello, beautiful humans, and welcome to Monday Musings, where I take a little bit of time to share with you some of the fantastic people that I got to interview for my book, The Voice Coach's Toolkit. And today I'm focusing on Jane Boston. Jane is really a superstar in our field. She is currently the course leader for The Voice Studies, teaching and coaching MA, MFA at the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. She's also taught at RADA, and she has written a book called Voice, Readings and Theater Practice, which was published in 2018. She is such a wise woman with a plethora of offerings. It was difficult to decide what to focus on, but I have a delightful little caviar quote, uh, concentrated and delicious for you today. Jane's quote is this, gentle guidance is self-guidance. Jane mentioned this to me in relation to Alexander Technique, which is a requirement for her students in the program that she heads. And it was a requirement at UCLA when I was working on my MFA. Alexander Technique is a fantastic way of using your body and uh, using it more effectively and efficiently. I highly recommend looking into it if you've never experienced it before. I had a fantastic Alexander Technique teacher, Jean-Louis Rodrigue. And Jean-Louis is currently the Alexander Technique teacher to the stars. He is really an amazing, amazing, talented teacher and his voice stuck with me over the years, his gentle guidance. And a couple of the phrases he would say is, lengthen and widen and think up to go down. And I can't tell you how many times those two phrases have come through my head when I have been teaching or coaching or even crossing the finish line when I ran a Spartan race or when I've run marathons or done any kind of athletic training. I'm wondering if there is a gentle voice or some kind of guidance that has stuck with you uh, over the years. Maybe it came from a book or a podcast or from a teacher. I'd love you to share with me those inspirations in the comments below and you know I will respond to those. Until next week, I wish you a marvelous Monday.